The Indiana Black Breastfeeding Coalition exists to teach all the benefits of breastfeeding to mothers, fathers, and support persons from a holistic, healthy, life-changing viewpoint. The Indiana Black Breastfeeding Coalition also promotes, encourages, and educates the African-American community to support women who choose to breastfeed and to do it with love. Hello, my name is Terry Curtis, and I am a international lactation consultant. I want to talk to you about the Indiana Black Breastfeeding Coalition. We are so excited to be able to share this video with you, and we want to share it with the world. I want to start out by saying the Indiana Black Breastfeeding Coalition has volunteers that have put their heart and handiwork in all types of projects around the city to help Indiana evolve as the breastfeeding capital of the world and to help African American women have their rightful place in breastfeeding. In starting the Indiana Black Breastfeeding Coalition seven years ago with just a handful of volunteers, we began our work in one of the familiar places in our community, the African American church. We asked the women of the church, did you breastfeed your babies? And we were so surprised that the majority of them had breastfed their babies. However, they had not shared this information. And so we started from there. And that's how the coalition began. My name is Ryan Kareem, lactation consultant and mother of three. I'm the vice president of the Indiana Black Breastfeeding Coalition and also the education coordinator. Breastfeeding, although it is the most natural way to feed your baby, is not always easy, especially in the black community. Do black people breastfeed? Of course they do, but all black mothers don't come from breastfeeding families and that is often a big challenge when you're breastfeeding. We often look to our mothers as our biggest support system and our biggest cheerleader when we're breastfeeding. But what do we do if she didn't breastfeed? How do we educate our families and how do we educate our community about breastfeeding? Lactation consultants, breastfeeding support groups, and pediatricians that are supportive of breastfeeding are imperative in breaking down the walls and the barriers of breastfeeding in the black community. It's important to take a breastfeeding class during pregnancy so that you can learn all about breastfeeding. Black women breastfeeding, changing the world one baby at a time. Hi, I'm Dr. Kristen Doss and I practice general pediatrics, adult psychiatry, and child and adolescent psychiatry in the Indianapolis area. I've been asked to speak today on the benefits of breastfeeding. For me, not only as a mother, but also as a pediatrician, I believe that there are a vast variety of reasons to breastfeed. For one, breastfeeding is the natural milk that moms can produce and I think it's the best thing that we can give to our children. It protects them, it has um, essential vitamins and immunoglobulins to protect their immune system. The literature states, and I've seen in my own practice, that babies who are breastfed compared to those who are not breastfed tend to have lower rates of illnesses, including ear infections, um, asthma exacerbations, eczema flare-ups, um, and they also tend to be um, less obese in the long term and as well have, tend to have increased IQ scores later on. Breastfeeding is best for both mom and baby. In fact, I'm breastfeeding now. I would probably say, you know, when, when I'm talking to other, you know, husbands and fathers and, uh, and trying to give them advice, uh, I think one of the things I came to notice was how important I was in the process. It's interesting being a father because um, you and your wife are having a baby, but yet oftentimes you feel like she's just having the baby and you're kind of a, a participant in this overall experience. Um, so, you know, so when it came time for, for her to start breastfeeding, for me it was after the first couple of days I realized that, you know, I was excited, but I didn't really know what my role was supposed to be. So um, for me, I just tried to find any avenue that I could to be involved and contribute, you know. I, it didn't take long for me to see how 
uh, how committed she was and how committed she really needed to be in order to, to, to nurse every couple of hours. And, you know, it's, you know, you're talking in the middle of the night, you know, when you're breastfeeding at 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and then trying to go to work. I saw how much of a, of a toll that was taking her on her and how tired she was and how draining it was. Um, but I knew that she was 100% committed to doing it, uh, no matter how challenging it was. So for me, it was it was realizing that, well, I'm not going to feed them, obviously, but uh, I've got to find ways that, that I can contribute, that I can help uh, make the experience better for both of us and make it work and take some, some stress off of her shoulders. My name is Dr. Tamara Dickerson, and I'm a pediatrician here in Indianapolis. Just want to take a moment to encourage you to consider breastfeeding. Um, as we all know, breastfeeding is the number one choice for um, feeding your infant child. Um, breastfeeding is good for brain development, for immune system development, and just overall fantastic nurturing for the infant and great for the bonding of the infant to the, the mom. Uh, that being said, I will tell anyone breastfeeding can be one of the hardest jobs you've ever done in your entire life, but the most rewarding job that you will ever do. Um, I'm happy to say that there are a lot of resources available in the community and for me personally as a pediatrician one of the number one resources available to you should be your child's physician. Um, and if your child's physician is not comfortable there are other options here in the city uh, such as lactation consultants um, throughout the city. Um, also they have also other breastfeeding support groups that are available as well. Um, but I think the hardest decision is initially when you've never experienced breastfeeding, this is your first child, should I even try? I always encourage my parents to at least try, because you never know. If it becomes much easier and it's more rewarding than you ever imagined, you've already got it started with great support in the hospital system. Um, if you change your mind later, it's always a lot harder to get things started after a few days of life. Um, that being said, um, I'll tell anybody, God is the smartest creator. Uh, all newborn babies are born with extra fluid on board to keep them healthy until mom's breast milk comes in. Uh, that's just one of the little tidbits that I see a lot of first-time parents get worried about. Um, but like I said, breastfeeding, it's an amazing experience, uh, very rewarding. This is something that only you can provide for your child. This is something that no one else can do for you. And this gift that you give your child will be with them for the rest of their lives. Human Milk, a soulful meal. The Indiana Black Breastfeeding Coalition is here to help you as we all work together to change the world one baby at a time.